Happy New Year! I'm so excited to be starting something new. As you know, I love the threes. So we decided that every third Thursday of the month, I'm going to show you something that I have organized and styled for my clients or in my own home. So today I'm in Tennessee and we did get a little snow today, which is very exciting. And I wanted to show you guys around a bedroom in my parents' house. Hi, I'm Paige Killian, and I'm passionate about helping busy moms of littles get organized in three simple steps. So here's today's organization motivation. So a couple of things that we did immediately was see what was working well here. And that was this gorgeous wall color. It's sort of a grayish. It's a mix between an olive green, a little bit of a beige, and some gray in there as well. And so I really liked that color and I wanted to draw that out and have that reflected in the bedding and in some of the furniture and some of the accessories. So I love all of the crown molding, that beautiful color, it's kind of an ivory. So that was another thing I wanted to do and bring that into the bedding as well. Now, I'm gonna be showing some befores of the space and then I'll just be talking through a little bit about things that we changed. So like I said, I really loved this gorgeous grayish color. And so I got the ivory and that color to go together for the bedding. And I'm gonna tell you, I don't hate a bed in a bag. I got one, we were doing this as a quick, fresh update. She wanted something lighter and brighter on a budget. We did the bed in a bag, but then I ended up finding these two extra pillows and blankets to have as accessories to complement just this ivory bedding that I got from Target. So what we did is we tossed out some of those little extra decorative pillows. There really just isn't any point in having 100,000 pillows. That's kind of annoying for everyone. So she has her main pillow. She sleeps on a couple of the pillow cases that came with the bedding. And then I just got these additional Euro pillows to give it a little bit of height because the ceilings are quite high in here. And then I found this awesome pillow also at Target and this really cozy knit blanket. And now you can do it right at the end so that way on those cold nights you can actually use it, right? Love function as well. Or you can use it in a way that is just sort of casually tossed on the corner and have that be, you know, easy breezy as well. So it doesn't have to be super structured, but just throwing that on, uh, working with a lot of different textures here. So we have a little bit of a stripe, we have a little bit of this cool fuzzy pattern here. I love that, almost like a circular pattern. And then the awesome cozy knit, which as I said, is excellent for these new snowy days that are coming soon. So we also wanted to take this color palette and redo the drapes. There were some very old, <laughs> heavy drapery that was here before. It had gold tassels. It was a reddish bed set. And then we had the curtains to match as well. Once upon a time, that was gorgeous and beautiful. And I'm pretty sure it's been in this room for maybe 20, 25 years. So it was time to go. And I just got these at Target as well. So they are a really nice, thick blackout panel. Very simple. We just did this silver uh, bar rod at the top, kept it really simple. In this bedroom, I also loved that she had this bed frame and some of the lamps and things that had a, a mix of silver and gold and sort of that brush nickel bronze all of those colors were working well so we decided when we hung the curtains that silver was going to do just fine because we had those accent pieces and we changed out the lamp shades i'll show you here i changed my light a little bit we just did this sort of ivory beige uh lamp shade it was once upon a time black i think uh, then we also just did little touches in the decor so this is a yummy smelling diffuser. We have that here in that sort of uh, greenish color, which is really nice and textured. Down here, you can see on the nightstand, it's got some sort of brass hardware. And so again, we're just mixing that. If you take a look at the detail of this, we're just mixing some of those metals together. If you take a look over here as well, we decided in the accent pieces, again, we have you know the new lighter and brighter lamp shade to go with all of the ivory decor with the ivory candlesticks we did the same thing more of a a brush nickel sort of looking silver shade 
and this gorgeous mirror, which was already here too, just looks so nice with the bedding and hardware and all of that. So I just wanted to make note of that because if you're trying to figure out, do I go silver, gold, brass, maybe you wanna do like a matte black, something like that, don't be afraid to mix those up. I also love that that's reflected here in this chair, which I absolutely love. So you take a look at this. It's a leather cushion, which I totally appreciate in those warmer and colder months. And uh, it's just an easy casual chair to sit in. And I loved that that really sort of was reflected in, again, the bedding, the headboard, the footboard. It has that textured look in all of the lamps as well. So I wasn't trying to change so many of the basics here, just really lighten and brighten the room. On that note, one of the other things that felt a little dated in this space was if you take a look up here on top of the armoire, you'll see that there are just some simple basket and bases before we actually had quite a few old ones that um, just were outdated and it was time for them to go. So I really love just the simplicity of that. We have a little pop of green keeping with the ivory and the natural textures and it just works really well together in this space. And last but not least, I wanted to just mention my mom loved these pieces of art in the bedroom and this one was very special to her. She just loved the little sweet little boy and girl and they've broken a pot. We can all relate to that as busy moms, right? And it had this darker uh, edge around the frame. And so again, don't be afraid to mix it up. We actually ended up adding this bench in and uh, it's quite bold. It's a black leather, but again, we're working with the cool texture. We've got the leather here, just like the leather chair over there. And, uh, and it's just kind of a, a bolder piece that was sort of fun to have in the space. Not so light and bright and airy, something to sort of ground it. And that's a great place to just, again, have something functional and practical where you can sit and put your shoes on, drop things off so that way things are not thrown all over the bed. So kind of a nice addition. This is the space that we did in Tennessee. I absolutely love it. I'm very excited that it turned out as well as it did because we really did not spend very much at all. So check out all the stuff at Target and see if there is a basic bed set that you could build on. And if you don't love your color on the wall, that is an amazing change that makes such an impact. If you do love it, find ways that you can complement it with other colors, decor, accent pieces, and things that you can bring into that space to make it feel really great. I appreciate you guys for joining me for this first Third Thursday video, and I look forward to talking to you next month on another Third Thursday. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching this video. For more resources to organize and style your busy life in three simple steps, head over to everythingwithstyle.com and connect with me on Instagram at everythingwithstylemom. Don't forget to check out the Mom's Organization Motivation Podcast over on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, any of your favorite platforms. And if you loved this video, it would make me so happy if you would subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks so much for watching and happy organizing.